I'm Bob Weber. I live in Holland, Michigan. I'm 95 years old. And uh, I was drafted at age 18 and had my 20th birthday on the ship going to France. You think they had a big cake for me in a party? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was just like any other day. Uh, well, I, uh, I guess I, uh, I was born on the 20th of September and, in 1924. And so on my 20th birthday, uh, on, the, uh, on the 20th of September, that's what you call your golden birthday. Uh, my golden birthday was uh, a present uh, on the General William M. Black. That was the name of the ship that took us to France. An 11-day trip from New York to Cherbourg. We were, the, I understand, the first division that was sent to Cherbourg. Cherbourg was destroyed by the Germans, so the ship couldn't come into the port. We had to stand off maybe a half mile or a mile from shore, three months plus after D-Day, but that was soon enough to get there. 40 men in my company were killed and 191 wounded, so we did our share. And I thought, the majority of these fellows over here are gonna come home and I'm gonna be one of them, so I just went into it with a positive attitude and, and I was lucky. No Purple Heart for me. You see fellows next to you uh, getting shot, getting wounded, or even dying, and uh, it's it affects some a lot more than others. But uh, I was fortunate in that I uh, kept a diary. They told me before we went overseas, you shouldn't do that. If you get captured, then the enemy might get valuable information. I thought, heck, I'm not going to get captured. The chances are very slim. It could happen, but the chances are very slim. And uh, after it was all over, I wanted to know where I was every day and what I did every day. So I wrote it down. One long paragraph, about 40 pages of one long paragraph. Well, my brother-in-law printed it up for me very nicely, and I'm glad he did. And now a number of people and even some institutions, some university libraries have copies of my diary. But uh, it's, uh, if, if I'd lost an eye or an arm or a leg or something in the war, I might have bitter feelings about it and uh, might not want to talk about it. But uh, I, I, uh, I don't have those uh, feelings that I want to hold it inside. We were in Normandy for a month before we went up to the front. And when we went to the front, it was on the Moselle River, just outside of Metz, in the vicinity of Metz. I mean, General Patton was uh, engaged in the uh, envelopment and the, and the capture of the city of Metz. And so we helped participate in that action. That was our first action. But, but by the 16th of December, when the uh, a Van Rundstedt offensive uh, started, or what we call the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, the uh, arm, uh, 10th Armored was in that uh, little corner of where France and Luxembourg and Germany come together. The fellows who came here to Bastogne were here for a whole month. Uh, they did not uh, rejoin the division until the middle of January. And uh, on our part, Co Combat Command A, those fellows like myself who were sent northeast of Luxembourg City. Uh, we were pulled back in the vicinity of Metz, France uh, after about 10 days. So uh, we saw limited action, but the fellows who came here to Bastogne uh, saw plenty of action and they took pretty heavy casualties and, uh, and I'm glad I didn't come here to Bastogne or I might not be here today. I decided during the war that I would become a teacher and so I, uh, I became a high school history teacher and I taught 33 years at the, in the same school. Usually they wanted to know how many Germans I killed. <laughs> that, that was the, the question that always came up. And I, I said, well, I shot at many Germans, but I never stopped to check them out and, and see what happened to them. But I presume I must have hit some of them. <laughs> By these people who suffered under four years of German occupation. It's incredible how much even the younger generation who have no experience, 
I mean, there's not many old folks who are our age who remember World War II, but they have educated the younger generation to appreciate what America did for them uh, 75 years ago. And it's, it's very heartwarming and moving to, to see the outpouring of affection and you might even say love for American veterans and for our country. Luck of the draw. You take it one day at a time and the first thing you know, you're 95 years old.